what's going on? So, uh, some of you might have seen uh, the other gear loadout video I did. What's up, pupper? Uh, I don't know, but uh, it was kind of long. But at the very beginning of it, if you made it through the beginning, I mentioned that my winter pack that I got, which was the Outdoor Products Cigaro, failed. The chest strap broke on it. That made it pretty uncomfortable to carry, especially with the huge load I had in it for that trip was like around 30 some pounds close to 35 I think with all the water that we carried probably so uh, I got another trip coming up here in about a week and a half and it's to Michelle and it's a three-day trip so it requires a little bit more food than what I had for the overnighter and uh, I figured I'd try and see what I could do with my summer pack here and I got I think Everything in this bag, and we're coming in around with the food and everything around 22, 23 pounds total weight uh, with all my winter gear in here. So that's winter bags for the hammock, my winter tarp here, uh, everything I think I need for a trip. And we're expecting, originally they were expecting rain and temps down into like the lower 30s, upper 20s, but it looks like it might stay in the mid 30s at night. 60s during the day so i'm hoping i can maybe even get a little lighter than this as the weather forecast pans out because if it's just like passing showers or something i'm not going to worry about some of the stuff here that i got uh i just don't want to get wet at night and this big tarp's going to help but it adds a bunch of bulk to my pack so you can see we got her on the outside so a bunch of guys on the forum i was at was asking they said this looked pretty small really and it is kind of a small pack this is only a 48 liter pack there's a review on this on my channel it's the outdoor products arrowhead you can get this at walmart target amazon they're cheap they're like 40 bucks uh they're light uh, i think the weight we'll say it's 40 ounces like two and two and a half pounds I, it's actually a little less than that i think empty but we'll call it two and a half pounds so Right there, just by switching to this pack from the other pack, I'm saving two, almost two pounds in pack weight, uh, which helps a bunch uh, when you're hauling out winter stuff here. Hmm. I'll get some coffee down here. We'll take a look at this stuff. So, one way I cheated is, yes, this is another outdoor products thing, but I got a fanny pack. Uh, and it's not it, it can hold stuff and it's not full right now so the only thing in here right now is my electronics and my little tripod for my camera uh, the front pocket will get like my money and credit cards my little wallet in there that's what's gonna go in there and there's a little back stash pocket here so I'm hoping like my headlamps can go my headlamp can go in here uh, it's fairly good size. I don't know how much it weighs or anything, but uh, it's, Yes, it's kind of dorky, but it it, it works <laughs> uh, It's gonna save me a bunch of it's gonna Save me putting a bunch of little stuff in my pack and I may actually use this a little more as when I get this all figured out But it, this is just like my charging cables my phone chargers I got I got enough to charge my cell phone like three times and my light maybe once or twice, which might change. I don't know how many, what chargers I'm going to take, but those right there will give me three. And I can put some little snacks and stuff in here too, so. That's the first change I made. And these are like six or eight bucks or something like that. They weigh almost nothing. So, we'll get into the pack here. Oh! <laughs> Slider over. So we'll start uh, with the tarp. I'll unclip this. Now the tarp will not fit in the pack because it's a small pack. But right here, this is my uh, Rainfly Evolution tarp, 12 foot sole nylon tarp. I just put it in this stuff sack to kind of make sure it doesn't get all flopping around on the outside of my pack. But I'm just strapping it to the front using the straps for the top of my pack. And it seems to be fine there. And I really don't care if that's outside the pack. I don't care if it gets wet. I mean, it's my rain fly. It's going to get wet. So, uh, we got a little pocket here. Which we go in here? I have just an extra Sawyer bag for my water filler. And 
uh, extra charging cable for my stuff, a little USB cable, and a backup lighter to the one that I carry in my pocket. Uh, so that, if I need extra water or need an extra filter bag, I got extra there. In the top pocket here, get stuff out. I have just a uh, bandana. You can use a buff, whatever. I like to keep an extra up there, plus the one I have I'm wearing. Start throwing some stuff out down here. I have uh, my beanie, which I might not end up taking this. I didn't really need it the last trip, but never know. I'm then again, this is gonna be kind of weather dependent if I need the beanie or not. My ridge line uh, for my tarp and my Sawyer. And so I have the Sawyer and an extra. Oh, I think it got in there, but Sawyer. And I always keep an extra little rubber gasket in there in case you lose one out of it. Don't really want to lose my water filter because this in here. Uh, I'm only going to be taking a one liter smart water bottle for water this trip. There's tons of water on the trail down there, and we're getting rain this week, so I don't think I'm going to have very far to go to get water, and I can filter. In fact, I might end up just, depending on if it's going to be warm, I may just screw the Sawyer to the top of this water bottle and call it a day. Uh, I just fill and drink right out of that, but I don't think I'm going to have a problem filtering a liter at a time. Uh, let me peel that back now that we saw all that get into the other outside pockets here. So this just had my water bottle in it. That's it. Uh, release these kind of tension straps here. There. Kind of loosen her up. This front pocket, all it has in it is uh, Frog Togs. This is the Frog Togs Rain Poncho. They're very lightweight. And the nice thing with this is I got the poncho version. They're like 10 bucks. Uh, it will go over my pack and me, so if we do get a light rain, I don't have to worry about a pack cover for this. I can just throw this over the top of it and it'll help keep it dry. I do plan on putting everything in the bottom here. I don't have a trash compactor bag in here right now, but like my bedding and sleep stuff, I always put in a trash compactor bag in here anyway. Just doubly to keep stuff dry because I don't want wet bedding. There's my raincoat. Now we'll get into the main part of the bag here. Right on top I have poop kit, uh, trowel, wet wipes, toilet paper, hand sanitizer, all that good stuff there. Uh, I think we all know what that's for. <laughs> this is clothes. Now it is supposed to be cold, so I did bring some extra clothes. Or I'm planning on bringing some extra clothes. So we'll open this up. We've got... Not much here. Uh, just an extra kind of lightweight shirt right there. Not much to it, but it works for sleeping. Or as an extra base layer if I need it. Yeah. Extra pair of merino wool hiking socks to hike. I got a clean pair. A uh, pair of kind of heavier wool socks to sleep in at night. Again, this is going to be weather dependent if I need those or not. Uh, what else we got in here? What else we got in the stuff sack? Oh, an extra pair of underwear. Uh, in here. And a pair of pants to sleep in. These are just cheap Russell nylon, stretchy nylon kind of sleep pants. Uh, they're on clearance at Walmart right now for like nine bucks. If you need a pair, I just picked up these new ones because I lost some weight and I needed a new pair like that. But they're also nice. You could hike in these if you had to in a pinch. Uh, I wouldn't have a problem with it, but they're great for being around camp and sleeping at night. So that's it for the that for clothes, basically, uh, other than the clothes on my bed. Next up we have hammock straps right there. There's my straps. Uh, the rest of my kit for... My hammock that says guy lines and my bear bag line and that kind of stuff in it here. Might pair that down into some other stuff to kind of save on space. This is my little ditty bag. Uh, just another little baggie here. And in here we have your usual toothpaste, deodorant, 
uh, my first aid kit and a little thing to deal with blisters and I need to put some more medicine in there. I keep some ibuprofen, amodium, that kind of stuff in there. Throw that out there. Next is my food bag. Uh, this is a simulated food, so I might get lighter than this because this is like almost six pounds worth of food here. But you can see I keep my food bag right here. Uh, all I have in here is food. Uh, some uh, more side meals, some ramen, some packets of chicken salad, uh, pitas, that kind of thing in here. On the front, I keep my little, oh, there's a measuring cup right there. I can feel it. Keep my coffee and my drink pouches and my spoon, spork, whatever you want to call it down here. That's in there. So that's my food. And there is three days worth of food in there. Like I said, I might be able to get it lighter, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight meals in there uh, and snacks. So that would work if I had to. Next I have my puffy coat. Just kind of stuffed in around everything here. Uh, it works. It compresses down and I can just stuff it in around pretty much everything else I need here. So there's that. Uh, after that, now we're getting into the hammock. My hammock. Uh, we got my food, pot, stove, espit is in here. So just my cook kit right here oh, in here we have a little 700 milliliter pot uh, my espit stove right here pot espit stove and an extra there's some cubes in the stove and I have an extra block of fuel espit fuel here there we go. Now, what else we got here? Now we have the snug packs. Here's my under. It's my 30 degree winter under quilt. It's synthetic. It does. This is as small as I can get it right here. Uh, it is what it is. I want a synthetic under in case it rains, especially dealing with cold weather. I really didn't want it down under and then have to use like a protector or something. But this is pretty heavy. But it does keep you warm, so I live with it. And do we have anything else in here? Yep. There is my climate down KSP sleeping bag. It's a 20 degree sleeping bag right there. And that is all she wrote. I think I do have some stuff in this side pocket over here. Yep. The side pocket, all I have is tent stakes. And my little, whoa, throwing it at the camera, my little saw. That should be everything. That's everything in the pack here. Uh, now, this pack just has aluminum stays back here. I did add, I don't know if I'm going to use a sit pad or not. I added this little piece of foam in here. It's just a piece of hard foam. You can get it at Walmart in a sheet. And I cut it down. And uh, I might prefer this because... I don't know if I really want to take a sit pad or not. Uh, I'll try the sit pad in here too. But this takes up no space and weighs nothing. And it actually would give me a little workstation to sit down on the ground instead of having to you know, work with my food and stuff on, a, on the ground or on my poncho, which is what I usually do. So I might take this along. This actually might come in more handy even than the sit pad because I don't know if I'm going to need it. And I may end up having like a chair with me. On this trip not sure yet how I'm gonna clip it to this but uh, I'm getting the Helinox chair on the trip the guy's bringing me uh, that I he got for me and uh, I'll figure out how to fit it in here but that's everything in a 48 liter bag Oop, I forgot my flashlight on the front here to back up uh, the Nebo that I use on a daily basis I just have it clipped to my strap here on the front uh you can use it just like a headlamp uh, so i'll have a headlamp and a flashlight this is nice because the way the clip and everything is i can hang it and have like a lantern in my hammock or i can put it on my strap like that and i have an extra light 
uh, for hiking at night. Okay, that's it. So that's everything in a 48 liter pack for winter camping uh, at Michaud State Forest here in two weeks. That's a heck of a gear load out. Uh, I'm going to try and pare some of this down maybe even. See if I can get it even a little smaller. But for now, there you are. I got it all in there at least. <laughs> I might have to adjust some of where the weight sits in this too. Uh, I don't want it to be uncomfortable. Right now the bag takes up the most capacity. That 20 degree bag kills the capacity because i got to stuff it all down in the bottom there. So I may try putting some stuff in and then cramming the 20 bag around everything. Seeing how that works. Uh, instead of just stuffing it straight down in the bottom. But we'll check her out here. I, I, I know I can get it all in here now. Uh, I know this is going to be a decent base weight. So, guys, if you like this, uh, you wanted to see another gear loadout, I know. I just did one not long ago, but it is what it is. I'm going to have some other hiking videos out. Uh, I'm recording some reviews on stuff like the sleeping bag that I'm going to use. Uh, also recording some just kind of other stuff, like gun videos here. So, <laughs> somebody likes my puffy jacket. <laughs> All right, well, have a good afternoon. Uh, if you want to see anything about any of this gear that I'm using, uh, just put it down in the comment section. If you want to see how this packs up, I kind of did a reverse unpacking because it's a pain to pack all this in here, really. But <laughs> this is all uh, all my stuff for three days in Michoud State Forest. So may I'll see you outside here sometime, and you guys have a good afternoon. Enjoy.